Is the Venture X credit card truly one of the best travel credit cards to have in your wallet? I don't understand why nobody talks about this. There are restrictions with being a Capital One credit card holder. So you can only have a maximum of four Capital One credit cards within your lifetime. I'm gonna say it again. These changes are very recent. So you may be ahead of the curve and you may be at six credit cards or five credit cards. You're like, well, I got them. Yeah, you got them before this went into play. And I'm telling you because I've gotten the actual notification from Capital One says, sorry, you have too many Capital One credit cards. They're not talking about anything else except for that one fact. So understand if you have four Capital One credit cards already in your wallet, you may not qualify for the Venture X credit card. I have tried six times until I just picked up the phone and I called them and they confirmed it. So I know for a fact that that, that restriction is in place with Capital One. So be aware of that if you're gonna consider getting the Venture X credit card. And also be aware, they're going to pull from all three credit reporting agencies. That's the craziest part. They're one of the very few that are still old school. Unlike American Express, who's gonna pull from your Experian credit reports and they're a little bit more lenient. Capital One is very strict. They wanna keep you in what people call buckets. Different tiers is what they're actually called. They're not called buckets. They're different tiers of credit cards that they wanna keep you in. So if you're not in that proper tier based on your relationship and also your credit score and your credit profile, then you may not qualify for the Venture X. But generally speaking, you want to have a 725 FICO bank car score eight if you want to get the Venture X credit card. So let's just be really clear on that. But remember, everyone's credit profile is different, so it may not get you in. Let's jump into the Venturex credit card and whether it's truly actually one of the best travel credit cards on the market. Hold up. Before we get into this credit card, there's one last tip I need to give you. Now, let's say you are capped out and you cannot get any more credit cards with Capital One because you've reached the limit. There's another way that you can do this. Now, a lot of people say, well, just close that credit card and then go get the Venturex. Sometimes that works and then sometimes it does not. Ask me how I know because I did that. Just in case you're wondering, okay? Um, for whatever reason, they don't want me to have it, but my wife, you can do what we call player one and player two. My wife can be player one and then I'm gonna be player two. She'll get the actual Venture X credit card and then add me on as an authorized user so I can enjoy the benefits also with it. That is another way that you can, in fact, still get the Venture X credit card. And just remember, the Venture X does come with a $395 annual fee. Now that is very high. I don't care who you are or how much money you make. I'm not a fan of any annual fee credit cards. The only reason why I have them in my wallet is because I do in fact travel and it makes sense for me, but I love to promote credit cards that do not have an annual fee because they cost you zero dollars to keep them in your wallet and they're free. You can use them to get points, to get cash back features, whatever it may be. So understand, I'm not a fan of an annual fee, so it has to make sense and you have to get enough credits to wipe away that annual fee. Now the welcome offer that they do have for the Venture X credit card is going to be 70,000 miles if you spend $4,000 in three months, which is going to equate to $1,333 per month. Now remember, we're not gonna buy things we don't need, we're just gonna use our regular everyday spend and put them on this credit card and pay it off in full every single month. Now this is going to equate to about $750 worth of travel that you can use for hotels or airlines or other things inside of the Capital One fam. Now you're also gonna get 10,000 miles on an anniversary bonus. Now you don't get that in the beginning of your first year, you get that when you hit your second year. As long as you keep the card active, once it hits that second year, you're gonna get those extra 10,000 miles, which equates to about $100 worth of travel. So remember, every anniversary that you keep it active, you're gonna get that bonus. Now the credits, this is exactly what we want to pay attention to because this is gonna offset the annual fee. You're looking at a $300 annual travel credit that you can use inside of Capital One Travel. Now Capital One Travel is claiming, claiming that they can get the best prices on thousands of options for hotels, airlines and all that stuff inside of Capital One Travel. It's kind of similar to the American Express price guarantee. They're guaranteeing that you will not find that hotel or airline airline ticket cheaper anywhere else. So just be aware of that. And I have compared American Express and I have found that they have not been beaten on the hotel part, but I have not tested Capital One yet. Now this is a really good one that a lot of people do not pay attention to. You're gonna get a $100 global entry or TSA pre-check credit. Now people always say, well, which one should I get? That depends. Are you going to 
travel internationally. If you're gonna travel internationally, then you should always get the global entry. It's gonna speed up the process. It really does make a difference. But if you're gonna just travel domestically, then use your TSA pre-check credit. That one is gonna help you get through TSA much faster. You're gonna be registered. It's a little bit of a lengthy process. You have to go to a location and do all this information and submit it, and then you have to wait. It's a big pain, but it's totally worth it if you're going to travel. Just be aware of that. Last part's the most important. Now here's where Capital One is very sneaky and they're killing the game on the travel because you're gonna get 10X points on miles on hotels and rental cars booked through Capital One Travel. You're also gonna get 5X miles on flights and vacation rentals booked through Capital One Travel. Notice how they said vacation rentals. This is something huge that a lot of other credit card companies don't do and they're starting to actually catch on to it because people wanna do that. People are, really want to do the whole vacation rental properties. Now you're also gonna get 2X miles miles on all other purchases every day. Now the 2X is really awesome because it's really like, it's kicking the ass of the American Express Platinum card because the Platinum card has always been getting so much hate because it only does one X on everything else. Now here's the big one, Capital One lounges. They're gonna give you access to airport lounges just like all of the other credit card companies, but the Capital One lounges are very limited. I wanna give a special shout out to all my beasters out there that are working hard to fix their credit using Dispute Beast, the most advanced AI credit repair software ever created. But specifically, I want to give a shout out to Matthew. Matthew's credit score went up 285 points after one round with Dispute Beast. And Maurice, Maurice's credit score went up 237 points after one round with Dispute Beast also. But let's not forget Shakia. Shakia's credit score went up 215 points after just one round with Dispute Beast also. Now, Dispute Beast link is going to be in the video description and pinned at the top of the comments for anyone that needs to fix their credit. Currently, right now, you're only looking at Dallas, Fort Worth, Denver, Washington, DC. Well, actually, they have two lounges in Washington, which is kind of weird. I don't know if they just added one. Oh, they're scheduled for arrival, so I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, but then they also have one that they're scheduled for arrival in New York, LaGuardia, and then they've got another one that they're building in Las Vegas, and they've got another one that they're building at New York City JFK. So again, you just heard all these other ones are coming, but they don't have have that many options and that's what bothers me because you have Centurion lounges all over the place with the American Express Platinum and they have a massive network of other lounges that you can also use with the Platinum card. That's the huge difference between the, the Venture X and the Capital One Platinum card. They are, however, going to give you access to Priority Pass just like the American Express Platinum card. So you're gonna get access to all of those other lounges besides the Capital One, but I'm gonna say but the Capital One lounge is very, very limited. That's the sucky part. But I've, I've seen videos of how awesome they are and I'm like, it makes me wanna get this card, but do I really? Now here's a chapter that they pulled out of the American Express Platinum card. Now they created something called the Premier Collection. American Express Platinum card has what's called the Hotel Collection. It's like the fine resorts and hotels collection. So they have a Premier Collection, you're gonna get a $100 experience credit and other premium benefits on every booking. It's gonna vary from property to property, hotel to hotel and resort to resort. So just be aware of that. You could get in, you could get late check-in, get breakfast, but this one is very unique because it only says $100. The platinum card is always gonna be touting the $200 credit that I absolutely love and I always take advantage of it. They also have something that's very unique called the Lifestyle Collection. I've never seen anybody talk about this, but it's supposed to be vibrant hotels around the world. Enrich your stay at vibrant hotels and vacation rentals from the Lifestyle Collection with a $50 experience credit and other premium benefits on every booking. I mean. To me, 50 bucks doesn't seem like very much for a, a rental property or a hotel experience. Cause I mean, I'm like, what is that gonna get you? Maybe breakfast? Maybe, maybe that's what they're referring to. Now, one of the biggest features that I think that a lot of people that have credit cards don't take advantage of is the rental cars. Uh, because I've had bad experiences at rental car companies. I don't use them anymore. I usually use Turo, but they're gonna get you Hertz President Circle status. So skip the rental counter and enjoy the widest selection of cars with a complimentary upgrade. So I've seen other creators and other YouTubers talk about how this is actually pretty elite and they love it. So I'm gonna go based on that. They say it's great, but again, I don't really enjoy using rental car companies. I think that they're overrated and they should just be gone because they don't give you the best of service. But I have seen one creator say that he loves President Circle, so maybe I should try it sometime. Now, one of the biggest things that bothers me about this credit card is they do not give you a clear credit like the Platinum credit card does because clear is definitely elite. It helps you skip to the very front of the TSA line or they have the combination of TSA pre-check with clear, which is way 
way faster. And Capital One Venture X car just decides that that's not important to its travelers. And it really is important because not only is it for the airports, but you could use it at concert venues and all types of other actual sporting events. You're looking at a total of $550 in total credits to have the Venture X credit card in your wallet, minus the $395 annual fee. You're looking at 155 bucks in credits to use this card. So basically it's free if you use all the benefits properly. Remember that. When you stack this up against the Platinum card, the Platinum card is looking at over $1,200 worth of credits. This card just doesn't stack up. It doesn't give you enough benefits in my personal opinion, but the Platinum card does have a higher annual fee. So just remember that. Now, unlike the Platinum card, where if you go in incognito or in private mode, you can find a better deal somewhere out there on the interwebs. With this specific credit card, they're really locked in. They're not squeezing out any more extra miles anywhere that I could personally find. If you do find them, please drop it in the comments so everyone that's watching this video can actually find that other option to get more miles. Now, if you use my link in my in my video description or pin at the very top of the comments, that does help support our channel and we greatly appreciate it. But always remember, if you can find a better option with more miles or more points, then go with that always. Hope you enjoyed this video. We covered another big one about the VentureX credit card and is it truly one of the best travel credit cards? I think it's up there, but I don't think it beats the Platinum card. That's just me, it's my personal opinion. Now make sure that you watch the next video because it is about the Platinum credit card. So you might wanna watch it, see what you think about it if you are interested in getting it. Now if you felt that I brought you some value in this video, make sure that you don't forget and subscribe to increase your credit score.